friends. So today's video is going to be all about my back to school must haves for preschoolers and toddlers. So it's going to be geared more towards them because it's very different when they go back to school versus a first grader or a second grader. So these are a bunch of items that I love sending Riley to school with. It makes things easier. She loves them and they're just awesome. So everything that I talk about is going to be linked down below so you guys can get a closer look at everything, see different color options, all that fun stuff. So just check out the description box down below and get the video a thumbs up and also also comment down below what are your back to school must haves for your little ones I would love to hear your guys's recommendations too I love going through the comments and talking with you guys and I get some amazing recommendations from you guys and I really appreciate it too so feel free to leave those down below and let's go ahead and get into it all right so this is called mom juice <laughs> this is where we get our energy from from Starbucks. <laughs> Anyways, uh, if you guys are curious to what I drink, I drink a ice skinny vanilla latte and it's with coconut milk. I'll either do coconut milk or almond milk. I kind of like switch off, but that's usually what I get. All right, so first things first is a backpack. So I wanna first say that a lot of schools actually do not require backpacks for toddlers or preschoolers. There are some schools that do, so I wanted to put this in here as an option. Riley School does not require one, but I wanted to get her a matching one just so that way she had it because I saw the Minnie Mouse print. So this is from Pottery Barn Kids. Pottery Barn Kids is one of my favorite places to shop for Riley because they have some of the cutest prints and their stuff is all like amazing quality. And I love it that I can get her name on everything too. So when I saw that they launched the Minnie Mouse one, which if you follow me on Instagram, you are very much aware of Riley's love with Minnie Mouse right now. She always asks for Minnie Mouse ears, like she's obsessed. So I got her a Minnie Mouse backpack with her name on it. And what we use this one for right now is I put her toys and stuff in it. Like if we're going on a trip for a weekend or something like that, all of her toys are in here and then she kind of just holds it herself. So that's what I use it for. It'll be eventually used for school, but this is what I use and it's awesome. This is the large size. They also have a medium size and a mini size. I have the mini frozen one, but it's just so small that you really can't fit a ton in there. So I definitely recommend just getting the full size. And then it also has a little pouch on the side for your drinks. It's got tons of little compartments in here. You even have one top one right up here as well. And then all these little pockets in here too. And then also a little spot where you can also put their name as well. But I go ahead and get it printed on or embroidered on from Pottery Barn Kids for like their personalization. So I love their wrap packs. They have such great, awesome like options there. Also, I wanna note that Pottery Barn Kids always does sales, especially on a holiday weekend. So go ahead and subscribe for their email list and just keep an eye out and then use that time to buy your back to school items or anything that you have been eyeing because they're constantly having sales. I do that for every site and it saves me so much. Um, so yeah, so definitely do that. Okay, so next up is the lunch pail. So this is a lunch pail that I got Riley. I've actually been having this one hidden right now because I'm saving it for when she starts preschool in September, but it's the same matching print with the Minnie Mouse. I got her name put on the front front right here. I love the fact that it's got the little mini mouse on the zipper. It is so cute. It also has the same one on the backpack as well. You have a little slot right here for their drinks. Also has a long strap that will go over their shoulders that they can carry unless you'd like want to hold it like a briefcase type thing. This is what the inside looks like. So you've got the netting right here for any utensils. I actually use this spot for her ice packs and I'll explain why. And then this is actually an ice pack in here, but I actually like other ice packs better, which I will share shortly. But these are great. I love these lunch pails. They fit her Benko boxes amazingly well. I can fit everything in here that I need. And they're also super, super easy to clean. The way that I clean them is I'll take a scrubber and I'll put some Dawn dish soap on it and I'll scrub it in the sink. And then I lay it out in the sun and it dries and it like, it looks like it's brand new again. It is amazing. So you can definitely keep reusing them. Um, with Riley's right now, I just kind of like switch off with weeks with her and then I just clean one and then I give her the other one for that week and it just kind of keeps it fun for her. But this one will be saving for preschool when she starts. All right, so next up onto the ice packs to kind of go with the lunch pail. So these are the ice packs that I absolutely love. I found these on Amazon. They're my favorite. They're nice and big and most of all, they are 
thin, which allows me to like fit them in there all with a lot of food, <laughs> which works out perfectly. You could put one on the very bottom of the lunch pail and you could put one on the top. I actually usually put these right here. These actually fit perfectly right in this little sleeve. It doesn't look like they would, but it goes all the way up to here and they fit awesome. So I put it right up top and then I put the food down below and it works out awesome. So I definitely recommend these. You can get them in a pack of four. They come with pink, teal, yellow, and blue. So I'll have those linked down below for you guys. Okay, so kind of sticking with food because I feel like when you are sending a preschooler or, or a toddler to school, it's you're more so worrying about most is about their food preparation, especially right now, because a lot of schools are not able to serve lunches there because of COVID guidelines. So this is another must have of mine. This is a thermos, it's from Pottery Barn Kids. You can get all different types of brands, but I, again, I love Pottery Barn Kids because they have the cutest prints. This one right here is the frozen one. I think my sister has the Star Wars one for Caspian, but it's great. It keeps your stuff cold, it keeps your stuff warm, it works for either way and it really preserves it. I usually make Riley mac and cheese sometimes for lunch. Like that's on the days where I am rushing in the morning because that's like the fastest thing I can make. And then I put it in there and I grab like a little bowl and that way she can pour it into her little bowl and like feed herself. So these are definitely a must have and I love the prints from Pottery Barn Kids. I actually need to see if they have the Minnie Mouse one. I didn't even check. I need to check on that one because it'd be cute to go with her lunch pail. Okay, so next up are the Benko boxes. I absolutely love these. I've been using them forever for Riley. You can get them at Amazon, Zulily, Home Goods, Target. You can find them anywhere. There's so many different prints out there. This one right here is Little Unicorns. It's super cute. You just and you just open it up. Riley can actually open it up herself. That's one thing I really love about Montessori is that they really promote them feeding and opening up and setting up their own food for themselves. And so she's really good with it. What's great about this right here is it's completely insulated and you just take out the tray like so. And this is also microwavable safe. So you can also put, stick this into the microwave, which is awesome, but I love it. It's got all the different compartments. I usually do PB and J in here, and then I will do fruit and then maybe a couple of Cheeto puffs for something fun and maybe a little bit of raisins over here. So they're awesome. That's what I do to prep for her lunch. Um, and they're just awesome. So these are perfect. They also fit perfectly in the lunch pail too. So definitely a must have for back to school. All right, so next up is another thing that I add in her lunch pail as well. So I put the Benko box at the bottom and then I stack this one up on top. And this one is usually filled with tons of fruit. Um, I will cut up some strawberries, some blueberries, raspberries, or I'll put in apple slices in here. I love these containers. They're from Think. They're like the Think Kids brand. We have a pink one and we have a blue one and they're stainless steel on the inside, so it actually keeps things really nice and cold. So we love these. We use them every single day for school. So love that. Again, those come in different colors too. So I'll have those linked down below. Next up is water bottles. So I usually buy the Zach ones for Riley because they have some like really cute designs. Like we have a unicorn one, a frozen one, a Minnie Mouse one. Um, actually we have two unicorn ones, but the problem with those that I have found is that I guess from talking to her teacher on the last parent teacher conference of like her updates and stuff that when Riley does not want to go inside, she likes to throw her water bottle. So she's like, if you see her water bottle, like kind of beat up or anything, it's usually because of that. So I'm like, this makes sense why the lid of the water bottle just keeps breaking. So on those ones, they just break a ton. Um, so I actually want to recommend a different one for you guys. And this is the Hydro Flask. There's also the Yetis, which are great too, either or. And they're just perfect for them. What I really love about these for school is that they are insulated. So you can put some ice in it and it will stay cool all day long, especially when they're outside playing on that playground and that heat. A lot of the times they're taking their, their water bottles out there and they're setting them out there on the table. So they're gonna get they're gonna get hot. So this is gonna keep them nice and cool. So, and again, another thing that I love about them is they don't have that lid that can break off. It's just pop open and drink it. So this one definitely has a little bit of, <laughs> 
a little little bit of beat, beat ups over here, but they're very sturdy. I actually think I might like the Hydro Flask more because of the boot on the bottom because it's a rubber boot, so it doesn't make that clinging sound, you know? But um, I will have this one linked down below as well as the Yeti Kids one too. We have the pink one of the Yeti. So those are great. Definitely make sure you are getting an insulated water container for them. Last but not least, coming to uh, the food department until we get into the other stuff, are these reusable Ziploc baggies. Riley School is very much about being eco-friendly, like minimizing any type of plastic or anything like that. So me and my sister, we both do the reusable Ziploc baggies and they're just, you know, they're really easy to clean. You just scrub them in there and I flip them inside out and I kind of like hang them on something so that way they nice, like they air out and they dry out really well. But this is what they look like. You can put their little snacks in it. I usually pack these ones for her. These ones are a little too big. These ones I will use if we are going somewhere else, like, you know, like a long day trip or something like that or a road trip. Um, I will use those for these. So great little reusable bags and they're easy to open and close. So love those. All right, so next up, when you start sending them to school, you're gonna quickly realize that you need to label everything that goes to school with them. So these are the labels that I love. I found these on Etsy. I will link her shop down below for you guys. She's got so many different types of designs and everything. And these are called Baby Smiles labels. They're personalized labels. I get the full like school pack for them. So this one right here is Riley's and I've had this since she started school and I still have so many left over. I usually like this, this little water bottle right here doesn't have her name on it because I don't send this one to, with her to school. I send the other ones with her. This one I've been kind of saving for Kinsley to be honest. Um, that's why I haven't put Riley's name on it yet because I put Riley's name on her Yeti. But these I label everything with. I label it inside the little name spot on her lunch pail even if it has her name on the front. I label it on clothes. I label it on just everything. So, and they're washable. So they do not come off and they hold up so well. They legit look like they're brand new, even though they've been on some of her cups for a year now going to school. So I love these. You get all different sizes. So Riley, I got the ballet print right here. So we got the little, the little name ones. Here are some other ones right here. Um, you also have the circle ones. We have some bigger ones right here that I haven't had to use yet. And then these are the shoe labels for their shoes. So I haven't used those yet either, but they're great. It's a great little set to get. Definitely get the back to school one and you get so many of them. The print that I got for Kinsley, oh also, they also come with these little name tags too. I don't know, Riley's must have fell out. They must be in the drawer, but they come with these little name tags. Kinsley, I got her the mermaid ones. So I haven't really used Kinsley's yet because she really she's not going to school yet, but I just have them on hand. So they're right here. So they're all waterproof. So they're gonna hold up on the clothes. If you put them on the tag, they're gonna hold up on the lunch pails and all that stuff. So here's like the smaller ones right there. The circle ones, which are super cute. I love the mermaid ones. Um, and then here's the shoe labels. And then here are the bigger name ones right there. So super cute, all different types of designs. I will have her shop linked down below. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get into shoes. So when they're little, they're going out on the playground, they're playing hard. So you wanna make sure that they're in some good shoes. And the first ones I wanna recommend to you guys are the Natives. These are awesome. Target sells a knockoff to these, but they are really like, I feel like they're very uncomfortable because they're super stiff. The natives have a little bit more give and they're a little bit softer on their feet. So I definitely say splurge for the natives. You can get them in white, you can get them in pink, you can get them in all different colors. I have like a little watercolor one that also Riley has. These are her pink ones. These are great. I put these on her with socks on them. Um, you can also use them as like water shoes, like when they're going to like the water because they're super easy to clean. Uh, that's another reason why I really love them for school because they are so hard on their shoes at school 
these, I can literally just take some Dawn dish soap and scrubber and I can just scrub them and they'll be clean. They're super, super easy to clean and they hold up so well. They're kind of like Crocs, but Crocs are not recommended at schools because they are super dangerous for them. They can fall off their feet. And a lot of schools actually will recommend that they need to be wearing closed toed shoes and closed heeled shoes. So I definitely recommend the natives, especially for the summertime. Like these are a summer must have shoe. Um, you will love them and they will last so long because they're super easy to clean. Next up, I have two tennis shoes here. So the first ones are from this new brand that I love. They're just a little pricey, so I'm gonna give you guys a less expensive option, but these are just some of my favorites. So it's this brand called Geox, and I found them on, on Nordstrom, so you can get them there, but I actually recommend going to their website because they have so many more options. Riley is obsessed with Minnie Mouse, so I got her these shoes from them, and these are like the most comfortable tennis shoes ever. And I, even though I'm not wearing them, I can just feel it because the like just the the size, like the what's the word, um, just the material feels comfortable. It gives. It's not stiff. And it's just an awesome shoe. She puts them on and takes them off herself. She does the whole Velcro thing, everything herself. And it just works awesome. So I love these. She has beaten them up a ton. They're just a great tennis shoe. So I definitely recommend checking those out, but I wanna share a more inexpensive option. And another brand that I love is just the Nike. The Nike tennies are great. These ones are super cute. I love the color of them. Again, as you can see, she's very, very hard on her shoes. <laughs> so just super easy to clean. I also use this other shoe cleaner. It's, what's it called? It's purple. I will link it down below because I'll find it on my Amazon order list. Um, but I'll use that and it comes with a scrubber and I'll just scrub them too and let them dry and you can make them look almost brand new again. And then you can even take the laces and throw them in the wash. But these are great. Um, these are really sturdy, great, just playground shoes as well. So those are great two little options there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find these if they're still available. If I can't, I will link, you know, similar ones down below for you guys, but they're nice little slip on so she can slip them on and off herself, which are a big plus because again, Montessori is all about independence. So she does her shoes and her socks herself. And if you try to help her, watch out watch out it's world war three okay so next up is a nap mat and i recommend that you speak to the school that you're sending your kids to first to see if they would even allow these there's some schools that do allow them like i have friends that have these and they use them for preschool but our school actually doesn't um everything needs to fit in this little green bag so i can only put in a crib sheet and a blanket and a pillow for her in there and i have to use like a really tiny pillow for her um but if your school does allow these i recommend getting these these are the nap mats so this one is actually from Etsy. I will link the shop down below. I don't think they have this print anymore, but they have tons of different prints on there, but it's got the little handle. I did the Disney print and it opens up like so. It just has the Velcro and you can see this is the pillow right here and then this is the blanket and it's attached to it. So it's great for them. You can also take the cover off so there's like a foam insert inside and there's also the pellets so you can take the cover off and you can clean it really, really easily, which is great. I believe there's also some for sale on Pottery Barn Kids. So I'll link those ones down below as well. So you can check them out on Etsy. You can check them out on Pottery Barn Kids. See if you find a print that you love, but just make sure that your school will allow you to bring these. Um, I think they're awesome because they've got a little handle. They're easy for them but our school, they require that they have to fit in this bag. And I'm like, there's no way that thing is fitting in the bag. <laughs> so yeah, I just definitely recommend though, asking your school if you can use those before you purchase them. But they're also just great to have on hand too. Oh, also Love Every has one as well. So they're just great little nap mats that you can use not even just for school, but for other different occasions too. So those are awesome. All right, so we did the shoes. Now let's go into the clothes. So where I recommend to go look for some really cute, school clothes is actually Oshkosh. I really love their stuff. It's very trendy. It's really cute. It's affordable. You can shop there when they have their sales and you get so much stuff for super cheap. Like I saw that they were having a really huge sale and I was like, Riley doesn't have like any spaghetti straps or anything for school, 
that she can just run around and play in with like shorts and stuff like super easy for her to play in and stuff that I also like won't find if she completely destroys um I was able to get her like a ton of tops from there and like the tops were like seven dollars that's how much of a sale it was it was awesome so Definitely recommend checking those out. Carter's is also great, but I think I like Oshkosh a little bit better. Um, and then there's Gap, which is also really good, and also Old Navy as well. So I actually will send Riley to school every so often in her Riley and Crew or her Angel Deer, which are a little bit more pricier items, but sometimes I regret it because I am dealing with stains and stuff from her coming back to school. When she first started school, she loved art, she loved the paint, and she used to have it covered all over her. Um, but thankfully, I would be able to get it out so easily, which I will share how I do that next. But um, yeah, so now, thankfully, she's gotten really good with painting and all that, so she doesn't really come home covered in it anymore. But she's definitely very hard on her clothes. So definitely recommend like doing like Oshkosh. I think Oshkosh has probably be like one of my favorites. Oshkosh, Gap, and Bold Navy. Those are three great places to look at and there's always sales happening. So just wait till there's a sale and then kind of stock up. That's what I do. All right, so you know how I was talking about stains and everything? Well, I'm gonna share with you guys some products that I love and that have saved so many clothes for me. So basically, first off, the detergent that I use for Riley and Kinsley is this one right here. I use the seventh generation free and clear. It fights stains, made for sensitive skin, has zero dyes or fragrances or anything like that in it. So I am now washing their clothes together because I was literally doing like seven loads of laundry. I would have seven different categories of laundry that I would do, but I was constantly doing loads of laundry every single day. And I'm like, you know what? It just makes it a lot easier if I just put the girls clothes together. So they both use this one. They're just the little packs that look like that and I just pop them in there. Remember, when you're using any pods like this, depending on your load size is how many that you put in there. So a lot of the times with the girls, I'll actually put three in there. You wanna do three for a large load, two for a medium, and then one for a small. Um, same thing with the Tide Pods and stuff, but I love these, so I use that for the girls. Um, next up for stain remover. So these are two stain removers that I've been using. This one I actually just discovered and this is the Puracy one. It's a natural baby stain remover and it works really, really good. I actually think it works just as good as my Shout one. So I haven't even been using this one. I've been using this. I got this at Target and what I do is I just like spray the crap out of the stain. <laughs> I spray it a ton. I let it sit for a little bit and then I go back and then I put a little bit of the Puracy detergent because these I can't put in my sink. Um, so it's like a little spout one. I'll link that down below too. So I put that in my sink and I, you know, I let the water go up and I let it soak in there for a couple hours. And then I take whatever clothes I have to wash that day. So this is why I'm doing loads of laundry all the time <laughs> because I'm constantly doing this. Um, then I'll throw them all into the wash, throw them with those pods and wash it and the stain is out. So that is what I go, th that's what I do. Another great option too is honestly, you could just use dish soap. I know a lot of people, so many people don't realize, but like Dawn dish soap gets so much out. You could scrub that in there and just put it in the sun. If you put stuff in the sun, the sun gets out so many stains too. So that's another option. But usually I'm doing this at the end of the day where there is no sun out. So this is my little method and it works great. So definitely recommend this. I think it works, it works great for baby poop because Kinsley always has blowouts. So it's been working great for baby poop. Nothing's been stained. Um, and it works great for, really, Kinsley doesn't have spit up or anything, um, but I'm sure it would work great for that. But it works great for like getting food on your clothes or getting it dirty and it's just stains and all that. So those are my must have items <laughs> to protect the clothes. So I'll have all those linked down below for you guys. All right, so last but not least are face masks. So these ones right here are my favorite. I get these from Amazon. You get them in a pack of four. They have so many different colors, designs, everything. Um, this is what the packaging comes in, what they look like right there. But what I love about these is they're nice and thin. They're easy to clean, they're adjustable, they fit their faces really well. That's what I was having a problem with, was nothing was fitting her face and her ears are like, you know, their ears are still so kind of still kind of, um, they're not as sturdy as our ears are. 
So it, it just wasn't like a lot of masks weren't working for her. So I found these and these fit perfectly and I love the fact that they're nice and kind of like thin, they're not too heavy on her. But for school, they right now the requirements are is that they only wear it during work time, but if they're eating, drinking, or napping, they do not wear it. If they're outside on the playground, they do not wear it. So they're only wearing it for really a short period. Um, the way that I clean these is I clean them every single night. So when she brings one home, I scrub it, I clean it, I lay it out. I always have extra in a drawer, so I just kind of rotate them out. And then sometimes I even send two of them with her at school and I let them know, I'm like, hey, she's got two. If you notice that it's getting dirty, please switch it out because I really don't want her breathing in that bacteria that's on the inside of it. So I feel like it's really good if you just give them a couple extra and switch it out through the day. Um, but that's what I do with them and they're, they're awesome. I guess her teacher told me that Riley will, she gets really excited to see what face mask she has that day because I always stick it in the front side of her lunch pail and she'll be like, I got unicorns today and it's the cutest thing. This is the unicorn print that she loves. So we have like a pink one, a gray one, and a blue one. But, and then we have like the solid ones too. But they're just great face masks for them. Um, if they're two and older, they're most likely being required to wear one. So definitely check those ones out. All right, so that is everything in my back to school must haves for preschoolers and toddlers. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I will have everything linked down below for you. These are all the things that I have found that I love for her to go to school with. And I would love to hear from you guys too, what you guys love. Comment those down below, give the video a thumbs up, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.